Hi guys, uh, just got a, another really quick tutorial today. We're not inside Maya, um, but what we're going to be doing is looking at creating some render scripts. Now, I should say first that I'm not into coding in any way. Um, I could create some basic expressions, etc. But so you know, don't be scared of this if you're not sort of uh, code-minded either. I'm an artist. Um, but these are some really simple, quite easy things to do. So we're going to be looking at creating a batch script um, so you can command line render which allows you to render without having Maya running. Um, it also allows you to use Maya um, without um, you know, being able to swap between the scenes etc. Um, but the purpose of this tutorial really is to try and convert your machine into a mini render farm. Um, my particular machine has got 12 threads. Uh, we can see those here, the CPUs. There's 12 of them running. I've got 12 gig of RAM. Um, and we can see that at the moment I'm only using 7 gig of that. Just bring this up here. 100% um, CPU usage, that's all 12 CPUs. Now, if I was to want to carry on using my machine, perhaps I'd be in After Effects, compositing or something like that, then I probably wouldn't have set up a uh, batch script to render over 12 CPUs. But anyway, let's have a look at um, how we do this. So we can see at the moment we've got 12 batch scripts, 4, 8, 12, and they're all rendering. And the cool thing about this is Per frame, my machine uh, renders uh, each frame of the project that I'm rendering um, at about two minutes. So we're going to spread that over all of the threads, and then you would think that you know every two minutes you're going to get 12 frames. You don't because you're reducing the amount of threads to render per frame. You what you will get though is maybe three and a half, four minutes. Um, you'll get 12 frames instead of one which is you know great we all need that um, so here's the script it's really simple um, I'm sure you know much better scripts could be made but this is what I'm doing I should say that I only use PC and I've done this on the Mac in the past um, but I can't quite remember how to do it it's a very similar um, setup in my uh, in Windows, we just use a notepad. Um, so this is a V-ray scene, but also I'll show you how to do a, um, a mental ray uh, script as well. But you can see we just type the word render, and then minus S for our start frame. Our start frame is one. I'm just going to skip the uh, B for a minute. Our end frame is 260. Our renderer is V-ray. And here we have the amount of threads that we want to use. So I want to use one CPU thread. What we need to do though is um, f if we work out how many threads we want to use first. So if you want to carry on using a machine and you had 12 threads then perhaps you'd only want to render on maybe 8. But uh, you know it's fine for me to render on 12 at the moment. So what we need to do, we need to let's just get rid of this for a minute we need to think, okay so we will render our start frame at 1 and then by 1 to our end frame of 260 and um, our threads are 1 that would, we would only, if it was by 1 we would only create um, one render script so this amount here, really, if you think about it in simplistic terms, is how many batch render windows you want running. Um, so let's say we do want 12 running. You may have a 6 core, but in which case you'd add 6. So we're going to render um, one frame by 12 frames, uh, end at 260, and we're going to use one thread. So what I would do now is I would save this out, and I might save it as um, render script 1 dot bat 
very important to have this extension because it's a batch script and I would save that then I'd go back in here and change the start frame to 2 okay and we'd keep this by 12 so what we would do is we'd execute our first render which would be 1 africa.bat we'd execute our second render by double clicking on the batch script and that would be 2 africa.bat so 2 would start from frame 2 and render it every 12th frame so we would also save um, up to 12 of these scripts so we'll go the next we would save this as 2 the next one we would go in and change this to 3 file and would save as 3 Okay, I'm just cancelling these because I don't need to. All the way up to 12. Okay, and then we will be left with um, 12 scripts, and I'll show what they look like. Here we go. So 12 batch scripts. Now to initiate these, you just double click them. So you double click 1, 2, 3, 4, right the way through to 12 and you will get 12 as I have here 12 of these windows open up and they'll all start rendering and you'll start to see um, sort of maybe in uh, 3 to 5 minutes time depending on how much gig you've got and how complex your scene is you'll start to see groups of uh, rendered images turn up in your images folder which is a, it's just a great thing to see it really is um, so to do a mental ray version because I know not everybody um, uses V-Ray. I would pro probably here put in the flag um, minus R MR for mental ray, and that should be. I'd get rid of the V-Ray as well, and that should suffice for you to render a, a mental ray scene. Um, sometimes I've found that these scripts don't work and it can be as simple as uh, removing the word render it could be simple as removing minus R flag uh, it can be a bit touchy sometimes I think it depends on your environment variables um, sometimes it doesn't like you to have a start and end frame again I don't understand coding so well um, so you know I just go through some forums and try and get um, try and get an answer perhaps you know like the rest of you do um, but yeah I mean that's it works really well for me as I said I, I work in a sort of production environment I run my own studio clients want stuff yesterday um, and we still want to push out some really decent quality stuff but um, currently we don't have the budgets to buy big render farms um, I use online render farms in the past and I've found you can eat your money up very quickly should you have a small error or something like that I'm not saying they're not good they're great um, they've definitely got their place but you know um, if you're a small studio and uh, overnight you want to set up renders that you can pretty much guarantee will be done the next day you know you're turning your machine from using all of its 12 threads on one frame but spreading those and creating a mini render farm and if you've got two or three machines um, maybe you'll, you'll be able to spread it over 24 um, 36 processors um, and you know it really speeds up your workflow I hope that helped guys um, any questions just stick it in the comments I know it was a bit of a boring one um, didn't get to see anything uh, sexy in my but this this is you know really really helpful all right guys take care cheers